What's good? We are here. We are back on Agent Talk. Okay, today is Tuesday, March 17th. Uh, Y'all know what time it is on Tuesday. Today is Stock Tip Tuesday. My wife is in the bedroom, so I'm a little nervous because she can hear me and I always get nervous. When she can hear me, she's probably hearing me say this right now, thinking I'm weird. But that's okay. Shout out Journey Rich True. My guy's here. Check him out on IG. Uh, so today's Tuesday, talking stocks, uh, this morning. <clears throat> so I'm at the gas station and I felt like I had what I consider definitely a fresh revelation for me. Um, I always try to look at situations in life as what good can come out of this. Like really being mindful of how can I learn from this? How can we be better from this? Um, and business-wise, for me, when it comes to our finances, a like proverb says to act with prudence. So to act with a mindfulness of the future. And with everything going on with this coronavirus, I'm trying to, for me, best see how I can maneuver this situation and learn from it. Going back to this morning. This morning, I'm at the gas station and I couldn't find my wallet. Ended up being in the car in my bag, but couldn't find it. So I go outside and I ask them, you know, hey, do y'all have Apple Pay? Side note, if you don't have Apple Pay, it's a no-brainer, especially if you got an iPhone. Being able to pay from the convenience of your phone and not have to need another thing, something else tangible, is awesome. That technology is amazing. And just being able to go up there, can't find my wallet, and just because I have my phone, you know, I'm not going to lose my phone. Most of us... If there's any one thing that we're attached to, it's our phone. You know, we're not gonna lose our phone. And, you know, being able to pay with my phone, it's like, man, this is the future. You know, not having to exchange something, not having to, you know, go to a ATM to get like a, a cash or, or whatever it could be. And for me, just thinking, it's like, you know, even going back to like, I'm still, you know, slightly invested into cryptocurrency. The future is being able to exchange money without physically needing to be there. Now, I know we have bank transactions, there's Zelle, there's, you know, Cash App, Vimo, wherever it could be. The future is in that. Uh, the dollar, like the actual tangible paper dollar, I feel like it's slowly but surely just going to continue to decrease in value. Uh, just like, again, you know, right now, if you're in an isolation period, in a full quarantine period, you can't buy anything with cash. you got to go somewhere. That's, you know, not a possibility. You can't buy anything with cash. You can't pay the rent with cash. You can't do anything. Uh, and just those digital and online platforms that were able to transfer not just money, but transfer value, that's the key. The key is not in the money. The key is in the value. To be able to transfer value uh, it's critical, you know, uh, I think it's important for us to remember that there was a time before actual tangible cash, you know, where they use jewels, uh, even spices, livestock was what we use for currency. And so money has not always been the thing. And I think we're going to start seeing that the tangible cash slowly but surely going to people are going to one day, I believe, look at a dollar or a hundred dollars and it's not going to have that same worth, that same value. But that's a topic for another day. Uh, so for me, just you know, thinking with the Apple Pay and just seeing how seamless it was, uh, you know, it's the future for me. You know, looking at the price right now, I think just because of everything going on, Apple's right now at two forty eight. I want to say, and it's been to roughly three twenty, three twenty five. So for an individual, maybe you have some cash to the side. For me, you know, unfortunately, I'm cash strapped, so I'm not buying anything right now. Just letting what I have sit. But for those that maybe you have, you know, if you got an extra 240, 248 right now, it might be worth a shot just starting, you know, a long term trade on Apple and just letting it ride. Uh, I think we're seeing, like I said, it's the future. Even right now, you know, for me putting out this podcast right now, I'm using an iPhone. I have a Mac out right now, you know, two Apple products that are able to allow me in this time of quarantine and in this time of isolation to still provide value to people. <clears throat> and the value is everything. Another stock that I uh, thought of was Tesla. 
again, thinking about the situation that we're in with, you know, the coronavirus and we're in this isolation period. And even, you know, I was just thinking, what if somehow, you know, gas stations close down? We're seeing that gas prices are going down. So they're naturally using, losing value, oils losing value with people being home and whatnot. So people aren't traveling as much, but let's say that gas, you know, gas stations for whatever reason close down and you, you still need to travel in whatever manner and you still need to maneuver. You know, for me, thinking on this, you know, gas is a finite resource. And if the gas stations are closed, you can't get gas. You're only gonna have a certain amount of distance that you're able to travel, and then you're stuck. You know, that's it. Uh, you're confined to wherever you are at that time. And thinking again, you know, one thing it showed me is Tesla, you know, electric cars. The electric car is the future. Being able to charge your car at home not having to go to another tangible location, but being able to have, you know, your own battery uh, recharge pack, whatever that looks like. That to me is the future. Right now, Tesla's down to 445. You know, recently it was up to almost a thousand dollars. So to me, Tesla's another one. Again, not everybody has it, but even, you know, as we slowly recover from this and we see the prices maybe be stagnant for, which I think it'll last maybe a few months. But, you know, if you got $450, Tesla to me is a premium buy right now. You got 50% upside from where we've already been. Excuse me, well, you know, 100% upside from where we've already been. Um, and like I said, I think it's the future. I think the long term, it's a no-brainer to be able to have, you know, a car that you don't have to go physically to a location to recharge, but you can have something at home. Uh, I think that's the future. I think we're looking at and we're seeing through everything that's going on. You know, this is not going to be the last time that some sort of shutdown happens. You know, there's going to be another disease. There's going to be another plague. There's going to be another whatever it could be, whether it's in our time or children's time. And anything that allows you to be more self-efficient, and I think that's the thing that we're seeing through this quote-unquote social distancing, is that anything that is allows you to be self-sufficient during this time is how you're going to prosper. I was, you know, talking to my wife. This has shown me that those who own a home, uh, you know, that's an advantage. Being able, you know, even those that create their own their own food supply, grow their own fruits and vegetables, whatever it could be, those that do actually have livestock right now, food accessible to them, you're not dependent on someone else providing, uh, that's the win, that's the freedom. You know, we talk about financial freedom, you know, that's it right there, being truly independent and self-sufficient, really just between you and whatever your relationship with the Lord is. And for me, like I said, that's the one area above anything else that I'm learning in regards to a comp the company, and I've talked about this, um, anyone that has a business or a job or their source of income is something that they're able to contribute to and still keep it progressing uh, and processing through remotely, that's the future. You know, being able to work from home is the future. Everything that we're seeing right now is going to have a greater place in our society. Um, you know, I was talking to my wife yesterday, everything that's going on is I'm almost thankful for it because I've been working from home, you know, been working from home for now three years. And like I said, I think that's the future being able to provide value from a distance is the future. And last thing I think is even companies, you know, such as Amazon, uh, where, you know, they're, they're transferring tra the transfer of products, or, you know, right now people aren't leaving the house as much. Um, but for them to be able to still deliver products and whatever it could be, deliver toilet paper, deliver paper towels, I think that's a great investment. Amazon's not going anywhere. So for me, you know, it's Tuesday, talking about socks, these long-term plays that if, you know, worst case scenario, one day we go to a global shutdown, these companies that will still allow you to provide value or that will still be able to provide value, uh, to me, they're no-brainer. They're safeguards. Um, they'll have a place for sure. And so that's it. Last thing I got is for anybody maybe listening to this, uh, just think to yourself, what is one step in light of everything going on? What is one step that you can take right now financially to put yourself in a better situation, whether that's contributing your next $50 to debt, whether that's closing that credit card account, whether that's buying uh, that share of that company that's now truly at a discounted price, whatever that looks like, you know, let's take that step today. A lot of us uh, we get these financial tools, we watch videos such as this, where it's like, okay, that makes sense, that sounds good, but then we don't do anything and we sit on our hands. And so I just want to encourage someone today, you know, where just get one step closer to that freedom that we all seek, uh, financially at least, and, you know, let's get to it. Uh, today's Tuesday. If you received anything from this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever platform, whether it be YouTube or on YouTube, Agent Talk Podcast, IG at Agent Talk uh, your favorite streaming platform, Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Please leave a, a review or something. Show some love, whatever it could be. Share it with somebody.
Facebook, any platform, social media, IGTV, wherever you're listening to this. And I appreciate it. And y'all be great today. This is Joshua Grady, Agent Grady at Agent Grady underscore, and I'm out.